I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. I've got a quick shop update for this week. Um, I am currently on vacation so I'm not in my shop when you're seeing this. Booyah! Um, I'm actually going to be going out to Pennsylvania and uh, meeting a few other people as well as having a family vacation. Um, but I just wanted to tell you uh, some of the things that were up this last week. This last week I had two videos come out. Uh, one of them was a little introduction about what is the Midwest Tool Collectors Association. Uh, the name is a little bit of a misnomer in that it's just the Midwest. Well, it's actually across the United States and occasionally um, in other countries. So it is a, a great opportunity to learn about hand tools and all that. Uh, if you want to see that, click the link. Uh, really, uh, I had a, a good response on that. Number two, I made a video on this tiny little hammer. I've been wanting a hammer to adjust wooden planes, and I found this at the Midwest Tool Collectors Association. They, they had and had to make a handle. So I made a, a little video for that. Uh, I really like this, and the the kind of earthy, natural feel to it, and it's just the, the bend and flow of it is something that intrigues me. So I'm probably going to be doing carving somewhat like that in the future. I'm even thinking about making an entire set of planes just to match this look. Um, kind of a funny idea, but I like that. This next week I have a video coming out on Thursday about making boxes for a Stanley 45 and 55. Um, a fairly simple box video, but I wanted to do a few things a little bit differently, ways you haven't seen them done before. Um, like cutting wood with a Stanley 45 as opposed to a saw. Uh, just kind of a, a fun idea. I'm going to be taking them out to Pennsylvania to give to my friend and uh, hoping that uh, John likes them, so we'll see. The uh, second video for this week is how to cut a tenon by hand. Um, I want to actually start doing a few videos on joints and I figured let's just break it up because the tenon really is the basis of all joints. Um, so hopefully the week after that I'll be doing a bridle joint and then possibly a, a, a miter later on and then maybe some other things that the tenons go into. But I want to start going into, okay, how do you actually do traditional joinery with hand tools in a traditional way? And it, it's kind of a, a fun project. Another thing for this week is I finally got the chance to get back into the garage sale grind. Uh, I, it was something that I got most of my tools with uh, from the garage sale and I really haven't had a chance to get back to any garage sales, estate sales this year. Um, so I finally got out and uh, kind of hit the jackpot a little bit. I got a, uh, a two inch auger, I'm going to be cleaning up a, a really nice massive float. I haven't had one this large, um, I've been wanting it a couple times. Um, a wedge, I'm actually thinking about um, doing some splitting of lumber as opposed to milling it and uh, getting into that a little bit. So you might see that in action here soon. Um, a little brass mallet, I'm thinking about uh, taking the handle off and cleaning up the mallet. The mallet is, is pillowed on either end and really kind of cool and I think I can make it even better with a wooden handle. Um, a no-name number three, this is a uh, just an off-brand um, and it's a nice little, uh, nice little plane, and I think I'm going to clean it up and uh, donate it to somebody. Uh, it'll make a, a great smoothing plane for someone. An old uh, Marples V-gouge chisel. Um, it's in pretty bad shape, but I think with some rust removal and a little bit of work on the handle, um, I can turn that back into something. I really like that. As well as a uh, Craftsman uh, egg beater hand drill. Nice little booger. Um, I've been uh, wanting one of these for a little while, and every time I see them, I just pass it up as, oh, I'll get the next one. And finally got this one at the garage sale for a buck, um, as well as a, uh, another file. I, for some reason, I can't pass these up, especially when they have uh, decent looking handles. And then another burnisher. I'm probably going to end up giving that away to someone else who needs a burnisher. Then they uh, got several new hand saws, all of them distance. Um, a 24-inch, uh, a 26-inch, and this this beefy 28-inch with the uh, the second-hand grip, all in actually really nice shape. This one has a bit of surface rust on it, but uh, they'll all clean up nicely. And I'll have three more saws, so I'll probably be giving away a couple of those or replacing ones that I have and uh, giving those away to someone else. But uh, I'm really trying to get more tools into the hands of other people around me. So, um, yeah. Oh, and then I got this uh, great little tripod. I've been wanting to look for this little uh, tripod for holding my phone. And this one is like straight out of the 50s and all brass and uh, um, nickel plated. Really kind of cool. So I enjoy that. But uh, not exactly woodworking. But all this for garage selling, I think I spent less than $15 total for the two days out. So it was a, a good day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
So that's about it for this week. I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Donnie Carter at Woodcraftery. Um, I absolutely love what you're doing there. And uh, to say thank you particularly for uh, uh, being a patron on Patreon. You really kind of gave me uh, a kick in the pants to get get things going and become a little more, more professional. And uh, so thank you for that. And uh, <laughs> uh, if you want to become a uh, patron of me, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, as to if you want to see any particular video about uh, some of these things I got, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear um, if you want to see, you know, splitting woods or restoring something. That would be a, a fantastic video idea. If you did like this, um, please hit like and think about subscribing. Also, uh, feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.